welcome to this channel once again traders i want us to look at this chart once again because a lot of you are having some questions i'm not sure if it's because you didn't watch the whole video or really you didn't understand this thing is so so simple traders let me just show you my trades okay the trades the trades that i'm currently holding i used this chart for the analysis this chart is so simple you don't have to worry about all this it's i can say 100 times easier and 100 times better to use this chart to find a lot of entries okay so without any waste of time i'm going to explain once again every step on how to use it and please this time around watch the whole video because i might not talk about it uh, again the first thing i'm on fast pull this is fast pull website okay this is the main window on fast pull so first thing you must create yourself an account right here on fast pull it's free don't worry about any subscriptions so it is just free i use it for my analysis and really it works there's a lot that i've shared uh, about fast pull like the signals you have free signals free analysis i'll talk about it in my upcoming videos again okay or you can just check my past videos that have fast pull on the template okay so this is fast pool you create yourself a free account and please only use the link in the video description or at the top of the comments i don't want you to fall in the hands of any scammers who might end up charging you some money and another thing i must say that i don't uh, trade for anyone and i don't have any investment plans i don't do that so just beware traders only use the links in the description and at the top of the comments once you are here come to the data once you are here traders you then come here under the market trend and then you go down to where it says correlation on correlation you are going to see the chart that we are talking about okay my internet is a bit slow okay this is the chart that we are talking about it changes from time to time fast pull keeps on updating it to show you the market trends okay to show you the market trends so right here on fast pull traders what you do you have to let me just come here you have to have an understanding of at least one pair and the good part is that i've been sharing some strategies in my channel of different currency pairs i've given you the strategy for gold euro usd uh, usd jpy and a, a whole lot so just pick one strategy that you understand the most after picking that strategy you have to do your analysis on that one currency pair that is the pair that you are going to use to find the entries on the rest of the currency pairs so right here we have usdchf on usdchf let's say uh, you do your analysis and after doing your analysis you find that it's going to buy okay I'm not uh, using any strategy just uh, giving you an example because I'm not here to discuss the strategy I'm here to show you how to use the chart okay so let's say right here you assume that uh, I'm not a trend trend line person traders okay don't mind these trend lines just making an example okay let's say you assume that it's going to buy okay not really assume you analyze and you find that from here usdchf is going to buy next thing that you do you go to your chart okay usdchf signal is everything that you need so what you do you come here at the top you select usdchf right here and another thing that is worth noting traders okay let's come back here notice that we found the signal 
on the five minutes time frame. That is important because when you come to the correlation chart, you have to only focus on the five minutes time frame because that is where you did your analysis or that is where you found your entry. So right here, we are going to focus on the five minutes uh, time frame column. The next thing traders, you have to look for any percentage that has 90% and above, whether it's negative or positive. Okay, so here uh, we have negative 90% uh, on AUD USD. What that means traders is that since it's negative, it means AUD USD is moving almost the same way as USD CHF, but it is moving in the opposite direction, which means if USD CHF is buying, it means AUD USD is selling. Okay, we can just check that. Do we have AUD USD? Okay, right there. We can just check that. So you see that. Let me show you the shape that I had on USD CHF. This was the shape. Okay, this was the shape. So if that one is buying, it means this one is selling because it is negative. 90%. Remember that we had a buy entry on USD CHF. Already we know that we are supposed to sell AUD USD and there is no need to analyze that one. Another one is USD CAD. This one is positive. It means that we are supposed to buy. It's positive 93%. Okay. Let's just check that. This is USD CAD. You see that it's buying okay because it is positive which means it is moving the same way as USD CHF let me just uh, rush uh, another one that we have we have GBP USD at 99% it's negative which means you are supposed to sell okay let me check another one 91% Euro GBP, you are supposed to buy. Let's see. Okay, Euro GBP was the last one. So once you have uh, your buy signal on USD CHF, already you have this whole lot of signals. Okay, one, two, uh, three, four. Uh, where is another one? Five with NZT CAD, we didn't see that one. Okay, six Euro GBP. Mm, okay, so this one analysis has given you six signals that are going to be very accurate. You never go wrong if you do it the right way. All you need to do is have an understanding of the pair you are going to analyze give yourself all the time until you are very sure and then you are going to own the market thank you for watching this video